Hi everybody, it's Jeff Hopper back with Randy Wolf. We have one more session in our series on things that we love. And I'm gonna actually talk to Randy a little bit about his work here. 11 years ago, um, mm. Lynx Players was looking for someone who would really take over the core of our work, which is Lynx Fellowships. People meeting in and around clubs and um, doing their spiritual due diligence, encouraging people to dig into the Word of God and see who God is. And hopefully, prayerfully, to come to know Jesus if they don't already know Him and to come to know Him better if they do. And Randy has spent the last 11 years in mainly around the Dallas area, but into his beloved Louisiana and elsewhere, helping people start these groups. You have an affection for Colorado as well, so you've done some some work there. What do you see in Lynx Fellowships that warms your heart? Well, the immediate response, and I told you this uh, uh, last night, is 11 years ago I thought this was a good idea. Golf and ministry and married them together. And five years ago I realized, wow, this is a great idea. Yeah. And now I'm realizing my life is incomplete without it. This is wow. what I was called to do. And I love seeing men, real men, coming together studying God's Word together, and then walking away from that changed, like you were talking about. And they realized it came from studying together and, and eating together and being with each other. So yeah. it's been exciting. The fellowship of believers is something we should all love, and sometimes it's messy, and sometimes it means personalities mm -hmm. tangle. But the fellowship of believers, men and women, because we are increasingly seeing women start fellowships and become involved as well, or be in mixed fellowships. We have a number of mixed fellowships. This fellowship is what God intended for his people, isn't it? It really is. You look at in Acts, when the first church started, they met together and they ate together, they went out together, and they worked with each other and encouraged one another. It yeah. was exactly what was intended. Yeah, absolutely. One of my favorite uh, books of the Bible is a letter actually that Paul wrote to the church of at Thessalonica, the first Thessalonian letter, because he is so effusive in his love for these people. He really expresses uh, um, a mm -hmm. love for them, a care for them, a desire for them to mm -hmm. keep growing. And so in, uh, in that particular letter, he says these words, may the Lord make your love increase and overflow for each other and for everyone else, just as ours does for you. Mm. He's, you know, he's saying, look, we have this overflowing love for you, and we want you to have that for each other. Tell me a story of where you've seen that happen. Well, it's almost every week. I, I see it lived out, but immediately I thought of a photograph that Gary Christopher took of our Lynx group, our national um, fundraiser for our, our fundraiser for our region in Pine Forest Country Club in Houston, Texas. And as I looked at that photograph, I looked at the faces of all the men and women that were there. And there was a story about each one of them. Mm. And I loved the fact that I could look at that and smile and I think of thanking each one of them for their investment in, in their lives with each other and, and in my life. So right. it's just been a very rewarding. Um, there's a passage in Proverbs where again Solomon says that we have a friend who is closer than a brother mm. and uh, <clears throat> a lot of people will say well that's Jesus it is Jesus of course but that's really not what Solomon was writing about he was writing about the fact that in true excellent fellowship we will develop friendships that will support us at very difficult times of our lives, will encourage us to go to the next level, will do some things that even family sometimes can't do for us. Well, you know, I don't m want to embellish this too much, but I see many, many times people coming to a study thinking, I don't have 52 excuses for Randy, I need to show up at one, and they show up and they realize they're talking about important things mm -hmm. and it becomes relevant in their lives. And all of a sudden they come back the next week and the next week and I've had the privilege to baptize people that have done that and been able to go on golf trips with them. And they now say, this is the best part of their week. That encourages me. Wow, absolutely. It really does. Well, we hope this series has been an encouragement to you. It's been a favorite of mine because 
We get to talk <laughs> about things that we love. But we always love spending time with you as well, even though sometimes it feels like it's at a distance. But we hope you've been blessed by this series and you too can go deeper in the things that you love.